I hope this is the right address. I can't stand this guy. Watch him on YouTube all the time. I hate him. I sit there and make him famous. I'm gonna drop this fan mail off. Ha! Huh. What a joke. Can't believe he's actually making videos still. He'll get that in the mail tomorrow. That'll be funny. Oh, hey guys. Guess what? I got some fan mail in today. To STKO All About Air Guns fan mail. Let's check it out. Got a little note here, it looks like. Dear James, we don't agree with your videos or believe you at all, but we'll keep watching still and make you famous. The haters. Boy, I'm going to get some flack for this video. As always. Well, everybody, welcome back. James here again with you with All About Air Guns. And I think you're really going to enjoy this video. Whether you like watching my videos or not, you still watch them anyway. This one is really something different. Now, as you know, the past video I did, I made the shot card for the Crawl MP03. Well, this time, a totally different animal. Uh, I went reversed. The gun was set on high power, and I set it to the lowest power let me show you what I'm talking about guys. This is insane. All the way out to 50 yards. Alright, back out here again. Got targets set up at different ranges. Got the side shot with the Crawl MP03. Shooting the JSB 1589. And this video is a little different guys. I adjusted my power knob. From factory it was set on high. And now I screwed it all the way out to the lowest setting. So... It's the lowest power this gun has right now, and I just wanted to do an experiment, as you've seen on the last video of the shot card, to see if anything changes. Same pellet, same gun, same everything, except the power level. And I did some crony work, and now this gun is shooting the JSB's 1589s instead of at 840 feet per second at the muzzle. It's shooting them at 470 feet per second. That's right, you heard me, 470 feet per second at the muzzle on the lowest setting. So I got target set up at 25 yards, 40 yards, and 50 yards. I'm going to go ahead and turn the side shot on now. Alright, we're on. And the wind's not blowing today, so that's a plus. Make sure my side focus is on the right yardage, 25 yards. That was the previous zero. Turn my scope up a little bit. All right, now we're set. Jeez, that was low, really low. It was still centered on target though, that is crazy. Let's try the 40 yard shot. Might have to come up a little bit. I hit the wood right below the bullseye. I have to come up a little bit more.
holy cow even though the pellets are low because of the velocity they are as centered as possible on target guys even at 40 yards holy cow 470 feet per second at the muzzle and at 40 yards it's still centered as possible on the target we go to 50 now Let's see if i can That is still centered on target as much as possible. The best I can hold it standing, guys. No wind. 470 feet per second at the muzzle. Holy cow. God, look at that group. That last one landed almost close to the first shot at 50 yards. All right, guys, let's go down there. 15.89 grain JSBs. I set up to be the perfect match to my barrel twist. Like I mentioned in prior videos and comments, people ask all the time, and in my opinion, and as I'm showing here, and you can see it, that barrel twist with the right pellet length trumps everything. Even at 470 feet per second at the muzzle, guys. 25 yards that's a center that's crazy 25 yards even though it drops because of velocity velocity is only ballistics and trajectory holy cow look at this 40 yard shot right there That is insane. Let me go to 50 yards now. Jeez. Guys, this is 50 yards at a muzzle velocity of 470 feet per second. That right there goes against all odds. Holy crap. And I know there's no wind today, and the wind might affect the pellet going that slow. But come on, man. 470 feet per second at the muzzle. Woo-hoo! So as you've seen that, here you have it up close and personal. 25 yards, you can see the hole there. Yeah, uh, at the lowest setting, the velocity was a lot lower, almost half of what it was from 840 to 470. And you can see there how much drop from a 25 yard zero previously it was. That's a good solid, you know, couple inches there. And then when I went out to 40, I even had to raise it up more in my reticle. And you can see that drop. But the thing is, guys, all these shots are center of the reticle here. Or mostly vertical. For 470 feet per second at the muzzle, this is insane. No wind. I could not believe it guys and you know with the right pellet and you have the right twist of course the pellet likes the barrel right here just shows anything is possible so I hope you guys can see that you know and I'm shooting again 470 feet per second at the muzzle that's only seven foot pounds of energy that's crazy out to 50 yards so guys I hope I can help you find the correct pellet in your gun. All the past videos I've showed you. Because to me, this is super critical. You know, it doesn't matter the velocity. All that really matters is the ballistic and trajectory downrange. What I look for is how, you know, how stable this pellet is. And you can see how centered it was all the way out to 50 yards to, the, to my aim point. Which was dead center of the crosshairs here on my targets. That is insane. So, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys on the next one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, no matter if you really like me or not. We'll see you on the next one.